Oh, all right, everybody. <clears throat> um, here again, 11:13 p.m. Thursday night, 13th. It's pretty chilly out outside. Would have been here a lot earlier today, but uh, got held up at home. Wow, that only says like 64 degrees. So it's got to be at least 5 degrees colder outside. You know, high 50s. Let's see what it is over here. Oh, it's always warmer over here. 68 high 67 so but yeah uh, Jess was off today so we had to do the food pantry run in the morning and uh, when I got home Jess had to go run somewhere met with a friend I figured well when she gets back then I'll go to the shop work on the car well, it was about 1.30 or so, my friend Dean called. He has a janitorial job in Chippewa at Cray Research. And uh, he was like, yeah, I'm going to swing by your place. So he swung by the house, we visited, talked about the van thing and dad and all that. And Well then, Dean was getting ready to leave and uh, my dad pulled up in the driveway unexpectedly. So, we got to hash things out and Dean was there too and so, Dean was kind of there, you know, as a mediator, which it, it did help because, you know, Dean could tell my dad stuff that I, I do that my dad doesn't see. You know, um, Dean was here a lot, you know, over the summertime, uh, last summer, helping me out when I was really busy. Um, like I said, you know, two, three hours, because he was working, see, he he gets done, yeah, around 1.30 in the afternoon, so, you know, that was perfect time. I was usually mostly, you know, more than halfway done, you know, interior would basically be done and I'd be working on the outside. So he would come in, he'd do the protect all, clean the glass, and then just help me do my final, you know, inspection stuff, touch stuff up, vacuum, finish vacuum. So, you know, but then Dean, you know, sided with my dad too on a few issues about, you know, I am bad at calling people back a lot of the times. Um, so you know that that's part of the it's part of my whole social anxiety issue I have communicating with people. I'm okay on the phone. Um, you know I kind of suck online because it's. I mean I like I'm okay on the phone, but I just like my job interview at Ken Vance went really well. It was the best interview I've ever had. I was. I still didn't look at the guy all the time though, you know, so it's still, you know, that might have been a reason I didn't get the job, you know, who knows. Um, I've tried and tried to overcome it and uh, it's just, I've had it ever since I was a little kid. Uh, I don't know if other people's schools had this, but uh, we had like a learning LD classes and ED classes. LD classes were for learning disabled. ED was emotionally disabled, which, you know, was a pretty shitty title in a way, and, and I hated that. Um, you know, I think I would have, after middle school, I should have been taken out of the program because I think I progressed a lot since middle school, and I was ready for a new start in high school, but I, I think of them think of it as them holding me back but maybe they saw something and I, I still needed work but in a way that just frustrated me more and it just I don't know how to explain it but um, not very good in large groups you know like the big 
you know, a party thing would be kind of hard for me to like talk to people and have a conversation, but I'm more, I'm really good on, you know, more one-on-one -on -one or, you know, small group. I'm spinning in the chair again, I noticed. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Um, but yeah, me and dad, you know, I don't know. He, the only thing I guess we disagree on is he didn't realize how much the van meant to me. But Jess and Dean, you know, they know different. They told Dad different, so that was cool. Um, Jess come out a couple times. Just she's dealing with her own thing with this other lady at this other salon on the other end of the the complex she's in is moving out of her place and she wants to rent half a justice salon. Jess is gonna charge her, you know, a little more than half of what Jess pays in rent. So it may help her out. Um, they're gonna write up a lease, you know, there's just hashing all that stuff up. So she's got her own issues to deal with now. And that way. Um, what else, I guess, you know, I'm, You know, my dad, my dad did say, you know, that he was impressed with my, uh, when he came and helped me do Mark's uh, truck and that, he said he was impressed with, you know, how I was working and I, I moved with a purpose, you know, type, I mean, I'm not super fast, but you know, he could tell I had my, I had a system, you know. So that made me feel pretty good. You know, and yes, yeah, Sonny Man mentioned about, you know, him being a greater dad because he's you know, he is my stepdad since I was nine. And uh he's done a lot for me. You know, he's always been there for me when I failed. And it just seemed like this time he wasn't. But. I know different. Now. But. It still hurt that he sold it. You know, and people say they're out. Be another band or be another project, but. Not like that. Um, oh, what was another? Yeah, Melrick. I'm gonna change the subject here. Uh, yeah, Melrick, it's awesome. Five hundred bucks for this place a month. You know, otherwise I'd still be doing it in my driveway. I mean, I wanted to do it out of my house for a couple of years and and build that clientele at home. But you know, I was on Craigslist as always, and uh, you know, yeah, I am posting ads on Craigslist. I just got that job, uh, oh, what was it, Wednesday or Thursday I had that phone call. Yeah, it was Wednesday I got that phone call about doing the Buick. And uh, he actually called me today while Dean was at, at my house, and uh, he's dropping his car off Monday at 9 a.m. So uh, I told him it'd be 100, 150, in between 100 and 150 you know, for a gold detail. He said he needed a little shampooing. So I told him I'd give you a, a better price than me when you drop it off so that's gonna be awesome but he saw my ad on Craigslist you know I posted usually every three to four days I'm posting um, minimum is once a week every Sunday or uh, no every uh, Friday I usually try and post um, one if I don't you know on Monday or Tuesday I try and do it kind of you know Monday and Friday or Monday and Saturday because um, that seems to work pretty good because um, I get a lot of calls on uh, on those days on Saturday and Sunday um, and then when I post on Monday I'll get some calls Tuesday Wednesday like what this guy did um, so yeah I just you know my dad I don't know, Jess, you know, says that, I mean, I, need, I really need a part-time job. I 
Found another ad on the pay in the on Craigslist or no? Yeah, on Craigslist. Um, for the another dealership. Uh, he's a really small dealership, so he's probably not gonna pay a whole lot. But uh, he's looking for a detailer, part-time detailer. So I gotta make up a resume. I finally figured out how to. My computer, it's got like Libra Office. 3.5 or something like that on it so it doesn't have a resume template but I did find one online and you know they're not that hard to do it's just I wasn't real sure on you know the order of all that kind of stuff but I think I got it figured out somehow but this is a stupid thing okay this guy posts it you know drop stop by between 10 a.m. and noon to drop off a resume. It's not like fill out an application or anything. And it's only Monday through Thursday. So he posts this ad Thursday night at 8.57 p.m. So nobody can, you know, I, I go there tomorrow morning, you know, do it tonight when I got back home and, you know, go drop it off. And uh, so hopefully, I mean, I'll be heading that way tomorrow anyhow, because when they come and get this car, you know, I'd like to, you know, meet the guy I talk to on the phone. Because I never have met the guy face-to-face -face with the transmission supply place. They got a little car lot, so, I mean, you know, and, I mean, we just don't have that money to pay house bills and all that. Jess's business doesn't do that good. Um, just barely enough to pay the house payment, but you know, we got vehicle insurance and stuff, so no car payments, so we're lucky there. But uh, I know Wild Eyed Northern Boy, you know, he said something about he wish he had hit this shop. <laughs> I wish he had, you, you live closer, man, you know, I would totally let you rent the, rent the half of the shop, man. That'd be. You know, I could learn a lot from you. That'd be cool. Um, but, you know, I can't do it. I got a garage at home. Uh, it is a oversized two-car garage, a little deep. It's got a separation wall in it, too. But the issue is the noise. Um, you know, I, I mean, I, I do live by the bars at night, but, like, during the week and stuff, it's it's hard for me it'd be hard for me to justify doing it there and then if somebody complains then I get fined you know all that kind of bullshit you know if I did it at home I'd want to put a sign out on my garage or something on the front of my garage you know I'd want to advertise um, you know the other issue, see that that's why I was doing it at home, and I, I could tell. You know, you get that look when a person's dropping their vehicle off, and they're looking around at your house like, "Boy, this looks like a dump." You know, <laughs> and I had the Firebird in my garage, so I always had to work. You know, but no, eventually that I mean that, that Firebird would have got pushed outside. You know, I would have been just, you know, I've been pretty nice to the guy about it. Um, the same friend with the blazer. He kind of has a procrastination issue too, but he's kind of, he's just got too much going on at one time. Um, just so much stuff going on with him. So um, I'm just gonna, I gotta get some money from him here so I can go get the sandpaper and try and finish that up. Get that out of here in case I do end up losing the shop at the end of October. Um, I have those coupons that are good till October 31st, so at least, you know, that's that's what we're looking, I'm looking at now. Uh, Jess said, you know, if I can keep going and, you know, if I can make a thousand dollars a month, that would be kick ass, because then, actually a little more than a thousand, so I could cover, you know, rent for a following month in case it did get slow and then go from there, you know. Um, my dad actually uh, brought up the hydrographics thing today. 
He said, you know, can you take some of that money I gave you and, you know, buy that sample kit? Well, now that I got this job, you know, on Monday, and I actually one of Missy's, uh, Jess's friend Missy's call, Missy called, and uh, her mom wants her vehicle done, which I did her pickup out of, my, out of my driveway years ago, and it was an old farmer's truck, and uh, they cut it back, and she was so happy, uh, she it's like, well, I couldn't even tell it was a farm truck. So, she's got a small SUV. I think I did it once before, actually here at this shop, yeah. Yeah, because I pulled out the dent. She had a dent in a uh, rear quarter, and I just popped it out the best I could. It was still there a little bit, but she was way happy. It was like 85% gone, so. But, uh. Yeah, I, I appreciate your guys' comments. I am going to reply to them with today, talking to my dad and stuff. So then, you know, it was like 4.30, 5 o'clock by the time uh, Dean and my dad left. So I figured, well, I'm just going to stay home. Me and Jess had some dinner. Uh, and, uh, you know, and then when she went to bed, then I came here. So going to get bust this out and... I'm gonna try and do the whole wipe down the whole interior without taking a break. Usually I do half and take a break and then do the other half. Uh, we'll kind of see how it goes. Um, this one is pretty trash, so for me to do the whole thing without a break is gonna be. Well, I'm back again just for a little bit. I don't know what it is with this camera, but it shut off. Stopped recording. Um, I switched it down to the QVGA, so it's a little lower quality. Um, boy, the other day I ran out of video card, that's why it kind of ended up abruptly. So uh, I'm going to get to work, so I'm going to try not to procrastinate. Let's see what time it is now, it's, it's been a while, probably a long video, uh, 11.30, so 11.30. So, uh, let's see how, see how I do. <laughs> Probably won't get started for another 10 minutes, so. Got to get the compressor kicked on, and, you know, here the, you guys kind of, I don't know. There's, uh, you know, not much distance in between, you know, my shop and the trailers, but, with the compressor running, if I walk out there, right on the edge of the blacktop where their grass starts, you can just barely hear the compressor. So, I haven't had any complaints from these neighbors here, you know, except for one time I had the tunes cranked up kind of loud and Rich was going in and out of the small shop door and the neighbor guy on the corner, you know, asked to turn the radio down. So, <laughs> I had it, I got a little black mark on here. I had from, uh, ooh. I burnt my finger. Where'd it go? Uh, it's there. There's a little black mark there. It's like my limit of how loud I can turn it. Oh, I had that set at my house. And it was about the same here. Well, I had it a little over that mark. So, Alright, I'm rambling now. I am in a little better mood. Um, so, thanks guys for caring. And it does mean a lot to me, and all your comments mean a lot to me. So, thank you. Alright, it's Chris at the Procrastinator's Garage. <coughs> <coughs> oh, I just finished spraying off while washing the car. Got the inside all wiped down except for the seats. Wiped down the doors. Wiped down the dash. And, yep. Center console is clean. So, got all the vents all wiped down. And, uh, just got to wipe those seats down and, you know, have a final vacuum. But, uh, a tear in there, but there's some, like, yellow paint or something on there earlier. see much difference back there but yeah worked on getting a lot of the tar off so 
I'm out of soda though, so uh, me and Joss, but we bought uh, two 12 packs today, and the one I left in the car because that's what I was going to bring to the shop. But then Jess left, and she thought I was taking the truck to work, so she stuck the soda in the truck. Here, I thought it was in the neon. So I'm going to run home, get some more soda, and uh, come back and I'll scrub the seats down. Then I'll start protect all on the inside. It is uh, 4 in the morning. So, I'm sure I should have stick that in my pocket. So, I had to open this up because it got all humid pressure washing. But, uh, shut this door now. So, I guess, uh, I'll be back when I get the seats laid down and protect all. And, uh, yeah, it looks a lot better. Oh, well, the bugs off. Scrub the rims best I could. I guess they look a little better. Yeah, I guess they do look a lot better, actually. I don't really have time to polish them though. But, uh, you should be happy. So, uh, I'm gonna end her here. And, uh, I guess I'll be back in a little while. Orange Barrel song. Fun as hell. I like the one where you just feel like one of them days when you want to kick somebody's. This is one of them days. So I got. Got to protect all. Still got to do the seats with the leather cream. Um, and I'm getting ready to wax. Oh, doors are locked. Uh, there we go. So yeah, these doors didn't really turn out that good. I mean, got a little bit of a shine to it. The dash turned out pretty sweet. So, I don't know what to do about this. I've uh, done everything I can to get this out and it will not come out. Um, that thing, I, I think it was gray before, maybe? I don't know, it's black. I got it wet and it like started turning real grayish and kind of like what this does when it's getting wet. Man, I've been scrubbing and scrubbing. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna try one more thing, but I'm gonna do a little test spot, you know, like down here or something. And uh, make sure I'm not gonna screw up the seats. So, yeah, just gotta wipe her down and uh, spot buff it. Uh, I've been kind of looking around and not too bad, you know. Um, most of the stuff is just even too bad to even try and touch with a buffer, you know. That's a deep scratch. I'm gonna try and get these guys out here. So you got four there. Uh, a little bit right up. Ooh, yeah. Looks like something hit up here. So we'll try and get that out. Uh, the wing. Probably do the whole wing. Hmm. I may end up just doing the whole trunk lid. 
more and more I look at it, there is a lot of scratches in it. <laughs> see how good I do oh, that's a bad one so yeah I am feeling better about dad and that oh, I'm glad he stopped over He was taking the boat in and chip was so trying to make sure I'll get that good and dry before I motor glaze the engine and shut the hood and then it gets the motor glaze all wet. But uh I can't really show you guys the center console. Now it's protect all the way I did from the other side, I guess. So, she's looking pretty good. Steering wheel's protect all. There's even some little bit of that crap on the steering wheel. Couldn't get off. But, uh, just trying to dry the carpet. Just taking a little break. I had time to polish the wheels, but I mean, I've gotten pretty far since the last video, but it's 6 20 in the morning. And uh, oh wow, just started getting light outside. Oh, that was weird. So Take my little break here till 6.30, so it gives me 7.30, 8.30, about two and a half hours, three hours. I'm going to call that guy, you know, 9.30, probably in the morning, and see what he wants to do. Oh, he wants to do this. They're going to pick it up with a flatbed again, and then I'll just follow him down there so I can meet him in person and, and go over the car together. And, I'm pretty sure they went over the car pretty good, you know, when they first got it, so I guess I'll, I'll know once uh, I get there. I am pretty nervous about it. I gotta get rid of that yellow paint, too. Uh, Alright, well, maybe I'll do a little how-to video on uh, the Buffin, so. Maybe I'll be back here in a little bit. Alright guys, this is a little bit of a how-to video on how I do the buffing and uh, polishing. Or the buffing and then the sore remover and then, uh, and then uh, wax. So, uh, I'll just kind of set you guys up. There. Now, I've uh, got this free sample bottle. Um, so, got a little bit on the pad here. I usually just start with one to two.
Didn't get it all out yet. Well, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to. This one's pretty... That one's not going to come out. Oh, there it is. That one. Can't get that one out. But otherwise, she looks, looks pretty good. What is that? So, yeah. So, yeah. Kind of messed, 
my video card was full, I had to delete some of the old videos on there, but uh, so I gotta redo this, I wanna just redo it quick. Got cherry carnauba wax, it's good stuff, it smells good. This wax, it doesn't mess up tr black trim, anything like that. And uh, previous video, I had uh, shown these scratches. I don't know if you guys can see those lines of scratches, but they were on this other side too. And uh, that sore remover pretty much eliminated them uh, with the yellow pad. So I think I'm just going to do that to the whole thing here. So the trunk lid and all that should get rid of most of the crap. Uh, I'm going to have to. This one's my white one. Wipe this down and uh. I'm going to high speed buff this, so that's how I uh, high speed buff and wax, and uh, turned out pretty good. I just went down to the door here. Alright, well, I'll be back. Alright, what time is it? <laughs> it was 12.43 on Friday. Ran into the issue. I thought Jess had to work at 9, and so I went home, and she doesn't have to work till 1. Called the guy about an hour ago to see when he wanted to come pick it up. And uh, he's gonna pick it up Monday. <laughs> I hate that. Let's see if this video looks any. Find the bad ones. I think that's one of them. Yeah. Shiny. Here's the recorder. It's got those scratches down there, but can't do nothing about those.
soil. <laughs> that always happens to me. That thing's leaking real bad. So. Dirty rag pile and uh, that clock ain't right. So yeah, I'm heading home. I'm tired. And uh, he said he's got a Dakota. It's actually his, his wife's daily driver. He had some paint work done to it. So he's going to drop that off Monday. And uh, I'll just have to tell him it won't be ready till Wednesday probably. So I got that car on Monday. Well, I mean, I can get that truck done Tuesday night. So, yeah, I'm calling it a day. Boy, all the Mountain Dew cans, I actually need another one, this one's empty. So... Yeah, I guess that's the end of, end of my long night. But, yeah, I had to run home twice. I had to run home to get the soda, and then I had to run home thinking Jess had needed the car. And she didn't. I So that shot like two hours. Because I did sit at home for a little bit, about a half hour, 45 minutes. Made some more cigarettes. So, alrighty. Well, don't procrastinate. Thank you very, very much. Thank you so much for watching.